I'll talk about a happy reunion here between an instrument and its talented owner after a cello worth thousands of dollars was stolen. Fox 61's Jake Garcia is in Waterbury with a story that you'll only see here on Fox 61. For cellist Norma Elisa Thomas, the music hasn't been the same since March of 2022. And didn't hear anything from anybody and just, you know, kind of like shut down, you know, emotionally. Uh, I just stopped playing. I didn't know what to do. You know, I just, just dropped out of some of my orchestras, stopped playing my chamber music. When her uniquely made cello was stolen out of her car in a CVS parking lot. I just went out to get groceries and I said, oh, let me just go back and get something. And they smashed the window and they just took everything and my cello was in there. Earlier this week, Thomas's missing cello was brought into Spino's pawn shop in Waterbury. When he researched it, first thing he saw when he looked up, you know, uh, the name inside there, uh, Guy Rabu. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. New York 1984, what comes up? Stolen cello. After research and talking to the very man who made the cello, he discovered it's valued at over $50,000. Joe could have just kept this and kept it moving and sold it somewhere else, but instead he thought it was more important that he get it back to its rightful owner. Thomas was in Africa when she received the news. And to get a text that says, I, I, I kind of know something about your, Lord, your cello. I was like, what? Spina wanted to make sure this 40-year-old cello found its rightful owner. And she said, uh, I got a call saying that you might have information on my cello. And I said, I got one better than that. I said, I have your cello here. When Thomas was reunited with her beloved cello, she immediately knew it was hers, noticing every string and scratch. And wasted no time eager to play it again. cello and case was just as she left it two years ago. The music was still in here. The music is still here. Yeah. So elated, she cannot keep the music in. In Waterbury, Jake Garcia, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.